just to their north. So storms tracking toward the Gainesville area right now. A first alert for their Carrollton reform. Want to make sure you are also in your safe place. That severe uh, warning, that tornado warning is going until 1145 uh, this morning. And uh, we may not be able to do it right now, but we're going to come back here in just a little bit. We'll talk to Jill Gilardi, get another report from the field. But it looks like uh, she's on the interstate there trying to get in a position to at least get some video as this thing passes off to her north. Wes? All right, JP, and I just want to say for folks right now in Aliceville, if you're along Highway 86 here in Pickens County, Highway 14, you need to be going to that storm shelter at this time. This is a dangerous storm. Winds gusting over 58 miles per hour. We're already getting some non thunderstorm related wind damage reports. I had one here around Coal Fire. Uh, looked like a re report of a 40 mile per hour wind and trees down on power lines in the Coal Fire area. That's in Pickens County. Uh, right now, I see Marion County. County actually in the Shotsville community tree down on County Road 168, but the National Weather Service, they're also continuing this severe even even though we have tornado warnings, we've got severe thunderstorm warnings that are in effect for these winds possibly gusting as high as 70 miles per hour here across Pickens, Green and Sumter counties, but we also have the tornado warnings and as we go dive into this line of storms and this is what we're going to be doing today. It, this is the way this thing is going to evolve, you know, based on how we see the way the radar is behaving this morning. We've got this line. There will be these little embedded areas where we'll see these rotational signatures and the weather service noting that this is all radar indicated at this point. As we first alerted you here a few moments ago, you'll notice around Gainesville uh, right there is where radar is showing us some rotation in that area and a little bit stronger here closer to the radar site in Columbus, Mississippi. You can see around Aliceville. So if we track both of these areas here, I want to put a cone up and just show you here. We'll take this out to the north and east. This is going to move toward towards West Green. If you're watching me in West Green, watching us in Mantua, if you're watching us in Clinton and Jill, I know Jill's listening in right there in Knoxville at the Knoxville exit. That's a good location to, to watch this thing because it's going to move north of there and it looks like it's going to be tracking right along the Sipsi River. Uh, folks also around uh, Aliceville for this area to the north. Let me just show you the track on this. If you're in reform, this one is moving your way. If you're watching in reform, the Pickens County uh, warning. And by the way, that warning is set to expire at 12 o'clock. Pickens County tornado warning until 12 o'clock. The one for Sumter and Green County until 1145 this morning for folks listening in. And now's not the time to you, you want to get to where you need to go. Make sure if you if you if you need to just turn the television set up where you can hear us. We'll let you know when this warning expires, but uh, get to where you need to go right now quickly because seconds count in these situations. We have these warnings like this, but there you go. Gordo 1131 reform around 1128 here. So you have uh, 1128 the time of arrival. If we continue to follow at least what's radar indicated JP and, and we're looking at the debris signature. The weather service also uh, noting no indications, which is a good thing right now that yeah. we have debris that's been lofted. That's something that we can see now with the radar if we have a tornado touchdown and kick up a lot of debris. We can see that in many cases. Uh, you know, Wes, just looking at this, if you kind of extrapolate where it's going to end up being, that uh, storm to the north, if you're watching in Fayette County around Barrie, that could uh, end up uh, heading towards you. So start thinking about that Barrie and Fayette. This particular storm, the storm that's farther to the south, is going to be a bit of an issue perhaps for Coker uh, and Tuscaloosa. So I want you to start thinking about your severe weather plans if you are in those areas that are not warned on yet. Uh, so just keep that in mind. This is the storm tracker. Uh, Wes, actually adjust that map just a little bit to the north there. Storm trackers right here. This is the warned area that is going to be uh, just to the north of where the uh, WBRC first alert storm tracker is located right now. And just a reminder, as these storms come through, the winds are going to pick up. You can also watch our continuous coverage on the WBRC first alert weather app. We're also in Tuscaloosa. We're going to be on live on the iHeart radio station. So keep that in mind. Uh, Jill Gilardi is in the first alert storm tracker. Jill, we popped a tornado warning and it looks like uh, that that, that area is going to be tracking uh, just to the north of where you're located. 
Yeah, right now we have positioned ourselves uh, right at the junction of uh, 2059 and also Highway 14. So we always want to have different route options to either go north, south, kind of east or west. And so if we needed to get on 14, we'd be in the right place to do so. Uh, what I don't want to do is put us directly in the path of this storm moving just to our north because it is going to be packing a big time punch. If we get a tornado that's produced within this storm, it will be rain wrapped and that means you're not going to be able to see it. So we'll just hang tight for now. May end up just turning around and going back towards Tuscaloosa ever so slowly because it uh, looks like the environment off to the east is uh, much more unstable. But let's show you what's going on outside of the storm tracker right now. Again, we are showing you the camera from up above and we can look all around if we need to 360 degrees and again we are just monitoring those uh, fast moving clouds we're starting to see the rain building in right now and again we are just about to uh, the Utah area but we have the choice of going either direction right now so we're just seeing the leading edge of heavy precipitation uh, but we are going to be watching closely uh, where the uh, tornadic part, the circulation, is going to be tracking. Again, I don't want to position ourselves right in it, but if we need to go northward, if there was some damage, we could go that way or go back and follow this. I think the choice will probably end up being staying ahead of this and, and then moving back towards uh, Tuscaloosa gradually with time. So we will keep you updated from the field and uh, you guys you know if you see something else uh, let me know but for now we have a good signal and are able to uh, track this system uh, as we go through the rest of this morning and into the afternoon and we will keep you updated so reporting live right now from the first alert storm tracker in Greene County first alert meteorologist Jill Gilardi on your side. All right, thanks, Jill. Be safe out there in the storm tracker. Back to the uh, tracking. Very important. Want to bring you up to date what's going on, where these storms are heading, and uh, we'll get back into those times of arrivals. Again, Pickens, Green, Sumter counties under tornado warnings. We'll do a little live analysis as we do. This is the uh, area where we're seeing the rotation. Uh, Wes is circling that. That would be moving toward West Green, Mount Hebron, Clinton area. Uh, looks like the Union area. If you're in those places, you need to make sure you're seeking shelter. Are you getting to where you need to be? Here's the latest track. Clinton at 1128. I want to make sure you're hearing me here. 1128. If you're in Clinton, Morrow's Grove, 1135. Uh, Knoxville, 1142. Those are the estimated times of arrival of this uh, possible tornado. It's radar indicated. We don't have confirmation of anything on the ground at this point. A lot of shear in the atmosphere. These things are going to want to rotate right here. We're looking at this other area that's getting our attention. Uh, this is right now around Carrollton. Carrollton seeks shelter immediately. Uh, this storm is right on top of you. In fact, this is getting my attention enough. I want you to zoom right down in here. Let's get into the different uh, cities and the communities uh, that we can talk about. Carlos, Beards Mill, Carrollton again, uh, Lois Springs, get in your safe place. This one's tightening up uh, quite a bit. That's going to be uh, State Route 86 there, uh, where we're looking at those higher winds in that road right there. What is that? Pine Grove Road. Pine Grove Road. If you live along Pine Grove Road, seek shelter immediately. Hopefully, you're already in that safe place because this is a very dangerous uh, setup that we're seeing on radar. Wes? We've got an observed tornado, JP, in Pickens County. Okay. Confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado located over Carrollton, That's moving it. northeast at 65. This is the tornado right here. So reform, uh, reform. We can't stress enough. This is a confirmed tornado moving in your direction, McShan area, JP. Coal fire, McShan, and reform. This is rapidly moving in your direction. Here's what we need to do. Let's go over to shear rate. That's going to eliminate some of the uh, some of the contamination here. This is where we're going to track this from. This is what we are seeing. This is where that tornado is. And then we're going to go look for debris here in just a moment. Wes is tracking this reform and Highway 82. I want to make sure you're in your safe place. Here's the track. And these numbers, these uh, times, this is very important. 1127, if you're in a reform, it's going to be at your house, okay? Zion, 1136. Uh, Ashcraft Corner, 1139. This, folks, that is the tornado. Moore's Bridge, 1141. Jerusalem at 1146. Belk at 1146. 
all areas. If you live around near close to those places, get in your safe place. Wes has zoomed in exactly where we think that tornado is, what's being observed on the ground. Let's go over to our debris uh, signature here and see what we've got. There and it right is. here. This yep. is this is debris. And in fact, I'm going to get off camera here just for a second. Wes, I want to do something. OK. Um, and when we see it this close in Pine Grove Road, I want to make sure that you are listening to me. All right, look at that debris. You see it right there? That is really picking that up. Uh, this is going to be uh, McShann Road, County Road 12, County Road 12, Coleman Farm Road. OK, where this tornado is right now, this is going to be around McDaniel Road and Coleman Farm Road. It's just going to be to the north of County Road 26. And right now it is moving toward McShann Road and uh, County Road 12. All right, McShann Road and County Road 12, Owens area. I want to make sure you're getting that severe weather alert too. This is where the tornado is. This is what we've got on radar. We've got it with radar ground truth. This is the debris signature that we have right now. McShann Road, this is going to be in Pickens County. Let's get a track. Uh, we'll go back to the shear rate because remember, this is uh, what's already happened. We'll go back to the shear rate track from there. Reform. I'm talking to you, Reform. Get in your safe place. Coal fire, get in your safe place. This is the track. This is where the tornado is, right here. And uh, we're looking at... It looks at like, JP, it's actually, you know, it's, it's moving a little bit north as opposed to north. Yeah. It's like north, northeast. So McShan, Beards Mill. Coal uh, fire. Coal fire, yeah. And it's staying, it looks like just a little to the uh, west there of Highway 17. But it's it's crossing McShan Road yeah. at the, at this moment. Yeah, it, coal and, fire at 1130. So you've got, uh, you got about 11 minutes before that's on top of you. This storm's moving at 50 miles per hour. We've got a debris signature on it. This is the real deal. This means this tornado is reaching the ground. This is one that's going to be causing damage. Damage. This is where you got some problems moving up toward coal fire, still seeing a, a very intense signature with the amount of instability in the wind shear right now. That's where this thing is heading. Palmetto, uh, eventually, if it holds together, reform. I still want you in your safe place, even though it may track slightly to the north of you. Reform and also the Owens area. Get in your sa safe place right now if you're not already there. Don't go outside and try to look at it or take a picture of it. We want you indoors. And the lightning has just exploded. Yeah, look at that. And you see that a lot of times yeah. with, with a tornadic storm or as it's producing a tornado. So our rotation tracker here, this really just eliminates all the garbage where you can you can really see where the tornado is. So uh, coal fire, we'll raise this image up just a little bit higher here. This is uh, crossing McShann Road as we speak. Beards Mill, you got a tornado on your back door and coal fire road minutes away. Coal fire within about uh, five, six minutes, you're going to be looking at a tornado. McShann Road, again, McShann Road cannot uh, um, stress enough that you need to make sure that you're not on McShann Road. If you're in Pickens County, you need to hunker down. You need to get your safe place. If you're in coal fire, you need to start taking those tornado precautions. That means get into that interior room. Get into a storm shelter. Stay away from windows. So we have the damaging wind threat. Now we have that tornado threat that's showing up right now in Pickens County and especially dangerous setup right now. Uh, this is uh, according to the Weather Service. I'm just stepping over here. This tornado is located near Reform. It is moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. Uh, strong tornado debris signature. Uh, detected and now the storm is moving toward reform and it may be tracking slightly to the north of reform up toward coal fire. Somewhere between coal fire and reform is where that tornado is going to be moving on through. Here's the latest track. We'll hold this up here just for a moment. 1128 for reform Palmetto at 1135 Zion 1138 uh, looks like uh, Ashcraft Corner at 1142, Moore's Bridge at 1144, Newtonville at 1148 and 1149 in Jerusalem. So what Wes has done, he has circled some of the key landmarks, some of the places that uh, this tornado is going to be moving across. We'll go back to the velocity mode and do a little bit more analysis, see if this thing's strengthening or, or weakening out there. 
It looks like it may be trying in the weather service, noting this JP yeah. just kind of ramping up again. Uh, it's right around Brooks Hill Road right now. I yeah. mean, this thing's moving at 55 miles per hour. So again, seconds count. When you see this warning, uh, we can't stress enough around Brooks Hill Road. You do not want to be on Brooks no. Hill Road or McShann Road right now. Yeah, put the helmet on if you're in the path of this, as we always talk about. Broad this view just a little bit. I just want to see how it looks in relation to everything else. And right through here, this is where we have this thing trying to wrap up here, and it, it really has. There, there's been an observed tornado. We've got uh, folks have reported it. Also, the the computer on the uh, radar has detected the debris signature. Let's see if we still have a debris signature on this. Remember the debris signature. There it is. 